Hi, we are live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, and I'm joined by Matt Bartolini. He is head of Spider America's research at State Street Global Advisors. Matt, thanks for stopping in. Yeah, thanks for having me. We've got a big event coming up. It's September 10th, 1 p.m. Eastern time. It's a webinar. Tell us all about it. So obviously in September, you have a big event. It's not just our webinar. You have the Federal Reserve meeting, and we're talking about investors, how they can maybe get ahead of the Fed, start positioning portfolios for a lower rate world off in the future around fixed income, within gold, other asset classes. And what are the big things to consider as we sort of get ahead of the Fed and what they're going to be doing for an easing cycle for the next couple of months, potentially? Yeah, I mean, we're looking at all the headlines, right? We've got uh, global political situations. We've got potential war escalation. You've got the Fed interest rates. A lot of comments now finally coming out of the Fed about maybe easing interest rates. We've got the election that's breathing down our neck. Uh, are we going to? How much are you going to try and tackle? So we only have... 60 minutes or so. We're going to probably cut it to around 45 to open 15 minutes for questions. I know there's going to be a bunch of them. You laid out a lot of different macro issues. We're going to talk about the Fed. We're going to talk about politics a little bit, about things to think about as we get further into the fall. And again, this whole idea of trying to get ahead of the Fed as they start to preach this gradualism of their new rate policy into 2024 and out into 2025. And again, the webinar, September 10th, 1 p.m. It's free, click on the link below. Uh, let's do a little spoiler if I could, because it'll be short, but what's maybe something that's gonna come up in the webinar that investors and advisors should know about? Well, I think one is gold. So historically, when the Fed cuts rates, real rates typically drop as well. And we know that gold has a negative correlation to real rates. So if real rates are falling, that could be an additional tailwind for gold. So we're going to talk about that from an asset class perspective, thinking a little bit beyond just bond markets and equity markets and trying to sort of lean into some of the trends we've seen in ETFs where gold ETFs start to have inflows, gold prices continue to go higher. So that's a little bit of a teaser, trying to think outside the box on a different asset class than just stocks and bonds. And most importantly, you want to be there live because as Matt said, you're going to offer Q&A, right? People can ask what they want. Yeah, anything you can ask, anything we'll try to answer. Okay, now as a reminder, it's September 10th, 1 p.m. The link is in this video, so click below. You wanna sign up, you can join me, you can join Matt. We're gonna be there, do not miss it. It's brought to you by none other than the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.